guys what's up welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a may wrap up video i want to say i'm trying to figure out my uploading schedule i've just been working a lot this week and so this is going to be hopefully a friday upload tomorrow june 4th this video is going to be very short because i did not do much um reading in may i think that's a combination of finals moving back home readjusting transferring work um a whole bunch of stuff like that and obviously hanging out with my friends i just haven't been reading as much i did upload a reading vlog though if you guys want to watch that it is on my channel i will put it up here or up here i can never remember which side I'm just gonna honestly jump into this video i don't have much to say just because i literally only have five books for this month but at least i read a little bit so let's get into it first book i have is the x talk i actually listen to this book this is a book that i want to get in paperback because i really really enjoy this book and i would definitely read it again it fits my new interest of like kind of steamy a little steamy romance but it's really only like one or two scenes at most really enjoyed this book it was just a little bit different i read it for the okay sis book club with maddie mayo and i really enjoyed it i think i rated it four out of five stars this book i read which was actually um my reading vlog was about this is a court of silver flames honestly this was one of my favorite books out of the akatar series i just really enjoyed it um i really as an older sister who likes reading books like Nesta, um, I just kind of related to her character just a little bit. Like she's she's a little bossy, a little mean, and if my siblings were watching this, they would say that I'm probably relatable to Nesta. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I think I rated it honestly 5 out of 5 stars. I'm just like a really really big fan of the Akatar series but if you want to know more about my thoughts I would just recommend going and watching my reading vlog but yeah this was the second book also this book is huge the book I read this book is so adorable it's called the second first impressions by Sally Thorne my first book that I feel like was a little steamy was actually the Haining game and so I think it's cool that Maddie Mayo had this on her um her book I'm trying to say her book club so the x talk was april's pick but i didn't listen to the podcast till may which is why i read it in may and this was a may pick so i really enjoyed this i think i like the hanging game a little bit more but this is super cute i rated it four out of five stars um i just it's if it's a classic like um you're falling in love something happens and then you fall back in love again and i thought the story was very interesting and i would recommend this also i would recommend if you're reading maddie mayo's book club picks like this book and then the x talks um the x talk then i would just recommend listening to her podcast episodes because they're really good in the last two books i read this month i'm going to categorize them together because they're a series but i read hunger games and catching fire i am currently rereading mockingjay i picked this uh tril trilogy um box set up in target because i have the ballads of songbirds and snakes and i really want to read that so before i read that i decided i wanted to reread these books and i just happened to see it in target and they were literally like 23 dollars or something like that um which is honestly really crazy but um yeah i decided to pick this one up and all i can say is i forgot these are honestly written like a 16 year old is kind of narrating it but like i'm not saying suzanne collins is a bad writer at all I can just like I like how I, it it feels like I'm actually a 16 year old like this is how I would have probably like the thought process and all of that I thought it was super good I forgot how much I loved the series so when I read these books I watched the movies um, and so I'm rereading Maki J right now I think I'm actually halfway through to the point where I could watch Maki J part one but I think I'm just gonna finish it um, I'm trying to finish that up hopefully I'll finish that up in the next week or two or not week or two week or so and i also am reading the body what's it called the body keeps the score i really need to finish that one but um yeah that is all the books that i read in the month of may I really have anything else this is literally it it's going to be the shortest video in the world i am planning on filming a room tour room tour I'm planning on filming a room tour and then also what I got for my 19th birthday. That'll probably be up after this video. I would think that would be the next video to come out. But yeah, my birthday was on uh, this past Monday, May 31st, and I'm officially 19. It's my last year of my teens. It's been crazy. 
Um, I'm actually, it's like 10.30 right now and I have to wake up at 6. So I'm super tired, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I am also thinking about doing a book tour. No, what's it called? A bookshelf tour. I'm thinking about doing that. I want to like showcase all my books, kind of show you guys what I have. But I have to wait until all my books are here because I'm lending some books. Actually, I'm really excited about it. Libby, my ex-roommate. Oh, so sad. Libby, my friend. Um... She's currently reading the Twilight books and she's on Eclipse and so far that's her favorite and so I think that's really cool but if she likes the series I have three more books that she can read so we'll see if she wants to read those but yeah this is going to be the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed listening and seeing what books I read in the month of May hopefully my June picks will be or my June um, recap will be a little bit stronger but also I'm already almost at my reading goal my reading goal for this year was 60 books and I'm at 50 so I think I have some room for like dilly dallying but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and go and get a restful night of sleep I will talk to you guys very soon peace and love bye guys